Oh, recording as we speak. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, you know, this we're here at the party. I've had one and a half drinks. How about you guys? Um, I'm on uh, three. Yeah, I'm, pro- I'm probably running around three. Good Lord, three drinks. Oh, come oh on. yeah. God. You are such an I, alcoholic. I, I'm going to move over here so that the lightning doesn't strike me when it fries you to a crisp. <laughs> we, we snuck away to the, the, the extra super secret Leog lair yes. behind the hidden panel in <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus and Bo's We opened up the bust of Shakespeare and pressed the button and <laughs> slid down. <laughs> the poles. Exactly. Now we're in that the is not a metaphor yeah, at all. No, no. No, there's no, not going to be any of that yeah. pole sliding, at least not after three drinks. There's, there's a rocking party going on outside, and yet uh, Cyrus, Bo, and myself <laughs> decide we're, to sneak in here and record. Hey, guys, we're here. Let's go into the bedroom without any decorations or alcohol. Well, there's a woman in here, but she belongs to Jason. So. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> She belongs. She's a. She's a. Jason a belongs to her. Oh well, that's fair. That's, that's fair. That may be more accurate. That's probably true. <laughs> so it's like we'll be like out having a great time, and he just gives us that look. Says, "Does Jason have to go home now? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have to pack it in, thrall? If you weren't dressed up like uh, Brock Samson right now, I would fight you, <laughs> but and I would if, lose. And if you weren't dressed up like a like a, a old man from the beginning of the Robot Chicken animation, then well, you know what? I'm just gonna fight you anyway. <laughs> Okay. And then uh, Bo is is uh, John Belushi as Kirk. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Bo has a complete vintage uh, Enterprise crew outfit. It is <laughs> He looks fantastic. Fan- I mean, every detail. Yes. In the gold and black. Yeah. It, well, is it wouldn't be the red. And, How- and working phaser. <laughs> I do have to say, as, as outstanding as the two of you's costumes are, Leon, who is outside schmoozing and making time with the ladies and so forth, as he always is, that is one of the one of my favorite costumes of all time. Yeah, and he, he, he's a really, really macking on the ladies because he's totally dressed up as Lando Calrissian and he's totally pulling it off. And it, you, you in in the audience, you know this. You may not have realized it yet, but uh, uh, Lando Calrissian actually is the king of all space pimps. Yeah, no, yes, there's no is. question about it. It's true. <laughs> In fact, he only dressed that way because my girlfriend, Mary, yes, for those three of you still don't know I have a girlfriend, I do, dressed as Slave Leia. My original plan was to be Jabba, but then I said, well, I'm throwing a party and maybe dressing as a giant full body slug outfit wouldn't be the smartest thing to do. <laughs> it's usually although, how you look during the regular Leogs. Although, although, although yeah, the, not, the not much of a stretch <laughs> for you. Well, yes, but I can. And that's for the Belushi comment. Fuck but you. But I usually more waddle than shuffle, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you should have been Jabba and then had co host be Salacious you, Crumb. You do, have, you do have her laugh, like, oh, 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 the mighty Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> the fool, he's using your Jedi mind tricks on you. Yeah, I, I actually thought about for a minute there. I was like, you know what would be even cooler? I'll go as like like that outfit if I find a Jabba outfit, but I'll put face makeup on and have like a big like rainbow like like cross or something or some sort of gay stuff so on. So you go as Huggy, so I'd go huggy as, Zaba? I'd, no, I'd go as, you didn't see the Clone, the clone Wars. Oh, but God. There's a gay oh, hut. Oh, yeah, God. It, what was it? Zero? Zero the Hut? Yeah, was something like that. that. what it was called? That would have been hysterical. I didn't, zero I the hut. No. He talked like Truman Capote. I'm sorry. Hello. No, that wouldn't have been That hysterical. was a gay hut. That would have gotten your ass beaten. That's what would have happened. Well, who here besides you would be upset? Uh, I think there would be several people <laughs> who would be upset. It's like you don't even reference that at a no, part. No. Okay. okay. We didn't Let, invite hey, any 12 year olds. Hey, for the for the Leog fans, <laughs> yeah. for the Leog fans, we uh, should acknowledge how absolutely badass and completely nerdy uh, uh, Grant's costume is. Oh, my oh God. Yeah, no. He. Grant tore it up, man. Holy he hell. came as the super scroll, and he's got, like, each one of his limbs is doing a superpower. Like, he's got one leg with flame coming out of it, one foot made up like the thing. He's got, like, <laughs> his hand missing from the other, so it's invisible. And It is, yeah. it is it, yeah. freaking ghetto and amazing at the same time. Yeah, no. <laughs> it, it, yeah, he's got the, got the ears going. The, the only thing that's missing is, like, you know, him actually being able to project flame out of his hands. And Corey... Oh yeah. my God! I didn't know who he was. I yeah, didn't nobody nobody recognized Corey for a while, and I refused to believe it was him for a while because I didn't think that he would put that much effort into the costume, nor did I think he would do such a, a blatant comic book thing. Corey is dressed as Rorschach, and he fucking looks badass. Yeah, yes, it does. is a dead-on Rorschach. Uh, yeah, it's incredible. It's funny though. <clears> it's kind of- Although it does get blown, the image does get blown when he talks. So yeah. it's a good idea for him to not talk for the first I, half I hour was, he was here. I was really gonna show up uh, naked and painted blue and come as Doctor Manhattan, but. 
I didn't think. Then he realized the uh, the time machine that would require him a year without drinking <laughs> and, and a personal coach would. Uh, I even went and irradiated myself in a in the CERN particle collider over in England. But, uh, and now I'm sterile. <laughs> yeah. I'm not blue at all. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. That didn't really go out as planned. Uh, what else? Uh, there's oh. Uh, I probably shouldn't say what co-host is, and, uh, but his is pretty awesome too, yeah. and extraordinarily geeky. Well, we'll uh, let him say for himself. We'll, we'll at let some him point. say. Oh, and rumor has it, for Halloween, how apropos we actually have, and this is going to sound like a joke, but I assure you, it is not. We actually have Malachi from Children of the Corn, yeah. in attendance at we, this we, very we party. We absolutely wow. do. A kind of celebrity. Yeah, well, <laughs> dude, it's fucking Malachi, man. Yeah. Um, hands up. Yeah. Who in here has been in Children of the Corn? Oh, wow, no one? Cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I guess he wins. I was exactly. in a movie that Jason made. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> hands up. Who's been in a movie that everybody has seen? <laughs> right. um, still no one. <laughs> fair yeah. enough. Fair there enough. is that. It's yeah. been in a few festivals. <laughs> but we should be in and out of this. We've got a off spare bedroom off this party. In this house, we've decked it out like a crazy messed up haunted house. We've got a cemetery outside. Yeah. With- Cyrus has decorated it, is more to the point. Uh... I, I decorated the living room. I did a little bit of work yeah, in the ba- in the backyard. The yeah, the <laughs> Cyrus has been like the gay director of a high school musical today. <laughs> <laughs> Flitting about, ripping his hair out, and I'm like, God, dude, it's only party. We're okay. <laughs> yeah. It, it, and, well, uh, we're, just... we're, we're recording in Cyrus's room right now, and uh, he has totally done it up like a Silence of the Lambs sex dungeon. <laughs> And what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm afraid that's how it normally looks. I was gonna say this. You've been in my room before, right? Oh, no. No, you actually, yeah. we are we are ass de- being being in Cyrus's room. We are ass deep in anything that is not related to Halloween, and yet is part of our normal household d- decor yeah. is in this room or my room. Do you wanna, <laughs> the the do rest you of the house is me? completely there's there's nothing out that isn't spooky. Do you want to fuck me? I'd fuck me. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so, and that includes the well at the bottom of the, yeah. the, 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 the moth the, collection. The fat chick. <laughs> and the, a bottle of of Jurgens. It puts my <laughs> bottle of whiskey in the bucket or it gets the hose again. <laughs> Well, all right, so we'll be in and out of this yes. room as the night goes. We're uh, going to drag Leon back here. We're going to drag co-host and, uh, and Corey back here and hello. maybe some special guests later. Yeah, I, I'm out of beer. i got to go. Yeah, me too. Later, guys. Oh, we're here. We we, we managed to cajole the famous co-host 3000 oh back God. here. Enjoy the... He is, uh, he is currently dressed as Hal 9000. Oh, really? He looks I, amazing. I thought he was the guy from the movie Time Crimes. <laughs> no, I just felt like a real cheap red bulb no, and he, just like screwed it right in the middle of my face. It's like a, he, he, he's the, 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 the computer from Demon Seed. Yes, yes, sir. And boy, am I drunk right now. Holy <laughs> Jesus. See, we just, we're still like, last time we came in here, we were like, yeah, we've had like a couple beers. And now I've had, you know, a beer or two on top of that. And the co-host here is like, man, the what, time we were the first time he was outside puking up circuits. So I was yeah. like, well, I guess he's busy. <laughs> he just, I only had half a beer. I think somebody spiked my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I only had half oh beer and God. a bottle of whiskey that's replaced all the oil in me. Well, I did want to say, man, how sorry I was, especially... Especially as far as you're concerned, the yeah. Leog not working out because, uh, man, that was some prime material you had. Don't remind on there. me. That was probably the greatest show in spill history. Dude, we got him so <laughs> lubed up. He was like talking about horror comics. And I know. Jason versus Freddy, uh, the, the comic book comics, series yeah. that only like five people bought. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I, bring, I bring my comic books. Like I, I barely ever bring that into public viewing, and, and I finally do, and I get to talk about it. And then... You had like the Night of the Living Dead comics that were like the most beautiful art I've oh, ever seen. Tell me about uh, it. Evil Dead. So, that's new, right? Yeah, the, the Evil, Evil Dead the Evil comics. Dead, oh, cool. Yeah, adaptation, yeah. It's, it's, Dude, it's, you had some new. badass shit we were all, I mean, so, we were loaded. It, and... Is the Evil Dead stuff, is, is it still, like, funny? I mean, are, are oh, they yeah. kind of doing, so they're, they're, no, they're, no, no. Okay, they're doing well, the comedy tip. Well, the, ev- the Evil Dead was basically an adaptation of the original film. Yeah. But it was updated where, you know, they, uh, it's almost like a remake uh, with, without having to watch a terrible film. It's not so, basic uh, 
Oh, here, there's Jason. Look, I got a whole crew for the next phase. Okay, oh, well, okay. we'll be out in a minute, and then All we right. can record the next phase. That was All Jason. Right. He's yes. like, hey, we're ready to record now. So yes, apparently Jason, Jason is laboring under the illusion that he thinks he's more important than I know. us. He's talking about a prima donna. <laughs> he's only been on the show, like, what, four <laughs> yeah. times? I know. He, he's a prima donna already. Right? looks like Madonna without boobs. Oh, yeah. what a horrible! Oh. He's got the. That's yeah, true. He's got the gut and everything. Oh, <laughs> it is, it is and Guy Rich, yeah, there's a guy who dressed up like Guy Rich tonight who just beat the shit out of him, and he <laughs> cried like a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, but hey, I'm having a good time. Hell yeah. yeah! Hey, you know it's unfortunate what happened, but. I, I mean, think the gods just didn't want to have like all of our comedic great. talents under one yes. fucking roof. There was like seven people and a bass guitar. That sounds I like know. a Beastie Boys song, doesn't it? Oh, well, there were six yeah. people. <laughs> there were six people in Corey. Well, so six they, people in Corey. That's true. So damn those lost audio files. I guess we're gonna have to call up old Indy to look for these. <laughs> right. I just don't. <laughs> I think Bo might have a point though. It's one of those things. The gods, the ancient like ancient gods, <laughs> Cthulhu looked up from his watery grave and said, "Fuck <laughs> that." <laughs> Screw those homos. Indiana Jones and the Lost in Pegs. <laughs> I hate I was geeks. Like, <laughs> he's eighty years old. And, his whole colon looks like one big polyp. <laughs> maybe it's a good thing though, because maybe some of my uh, some of my uh, worthy worshippers probably would have lost a lot of respect for me after hearing me babble on about my comic books and my, my nerdism. But you never do that on their pages. Uh, Come on, that's true. That's Come true. on, I see hey. you're commenting back and forth. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what do you oh, mean man. you don't have issue number seventeen in the Justice you, League of America? What are you a fan? <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of anything so gay as someone who doesn't read comics. Dude, the Shamrock Care Bear was the buzz. Come on, you watch mold animation. Fuck you. You suck balls if you don't have action comics. Eight twenty two. All right, Jason's probably plotting our oh, untimely yeah, we'll death. We'll be on the door right and now. And we'll this be, is the night to do it. Being on the door, I wondered what that sound was, and it's now. Raining. I'm, but we'll be back. We'll, we're going to come in and out of here, and, and yeah, we're steadily Go getting drunk. And, and later, you will be able to listen to us pee on Jason. Hey, so. be sure to turn off the mics when I'm. Uh, Bringing the ladies in here, if you know oh, what I mean. A little yeah. bit of privacy, that's all I need. All you can do is give head. I did. You can say <laughs> that again, brother. That's all you got. I don't hear no complaining. Okay, so uh, I guess it's sort of a, a league addendum, addendum or apology or yeah. consolation prize. Since it all got... Fucked up. Last, last week, one. Uh, we recorded our Halloween Leog. It was the best one we've ever done. We had the co host, 3000, and Corey as guests you know, on our show. And Grant popping in and Grant out. Grant popped in and out. Oh, nice. And, um, it was huge. It was yeah. epic. I and we tried you. a new soundboard, and the guy who's in charge of it didn't really take <gasps> charge, so it fucked up and oh. it erased all but the first 18 minutes of it. And we cannot blame Cyrus. Cyrus no. is not the no, guy. No, no, yeah. it's, it's not his fault. And it was, he it was, couldn't yeah. yell the guy whose fault it was. Yeah. I'm, I'm so angry about this, but I'm not going to talk it's about that. It's pretty ridiculous. Oh, and Wait, we, should, we, should tell, about it. we should tell our listeners who the skirt is uh, sitting in. With. Oh, yes. yes, uh, The bird. Yes. Our, our, our lovely Allison. Who you guys remember Allison? Went by Al- Aloysius. I think you were on the third broadcast. Yes. And Number we've been three. wanting to have you back because you were pretty freaked out for other reasons. Had nothing to do with our show. You had to take a flight, and you're afraid to fly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? But I thought you were a petrified. great guest, and I've been dying to have you back. Well, thanks so much. Yeah. I think that my only punchline the entire time was "I'm drunk." No, you know what? You no, totally undersold yourself. You, I went you back did. and listened to it, and it was actually really. You were good. actually very okay, funny. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. 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 Tell tell us about your costume, Allison. Oh, um, well. Although I've gotten lots of guesses around Spider Girl, I screwed it up. I and thought Madam I was like, Web. Madam yeah, Web, Madam no. Web. I'm Lydia from the Beetlejuice cartoon. Right, not the Beetlejuice movie. No, the, no. the Beetlejuice cartoon. Yeah. The cartoon. That, that, that's how big of a geek she is. That's pretty. That she went and that we've, far. we've got some geeks at this show, but that's pretty badass. Yes, it's it's geeky. Now this is. This is really like shaping up to be a pretty good Halloween party. Like I everything think so. it was promised I'm, to be. I'm so impressed. Hopefully, this is I recording. I know. We've got here <laughs> early, and it was a decent turnout early. But, but now, at this point, it's huge. It yeah. is. We have, we have some celebrity guests later. Do we really? We do indeed. What? Whoa. We do quasi celebrity uh, guests. Okay. Yeah. Well, we right. do. We do. Well, well, hopefully, they'll come in and say a little oh, something. Oh, they are. They're already agreed. We're going to bring them in. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, suspense is killing me. I know, right? It's Halloween, so I guess suspense is killing me. Yeah, we well, are leaving because you're lame. So you, you, you know. Oh, she's oh, gonna stick around. Yeah. Don't worry about her. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Lando's gonna work his magic, Leon Calrissian. 
<laughs> you well, old yeah. pirate. Yeah, I would just say to everybody, like, um, Cyrus is really worried because his, his girlfriend game is a slave girl, Leah. He's like, I bet you're going to come as Han Solo or Lando Calrissian. I was like, no, I wasn't planning on either one of those. Although, I didn't have an idea for a costume, and now you just <laughs> gave me one. <laughs> you should be like, I don't got to dress up like a Star Wars character to take your girl, Cyrus. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to feel real bad about it. By the time you hear this, I will have um, – Cyrus will be a cuckold, and I, and I will feel really bad about oh, it. Oh, here, here's what Leon does to steal somebody's uh, girl. Bitch, come. Yeah. And that's it. And it works. Yeah. But you guys can walk that's... arm in arm throughout the whole party, and it's just your theme. Yeah. You know, you can exactly. be – Exactly. Yeah, you can be, like, cuddled up in the corner. Hey, what? I, I'm Lando. She's Leia. What? It's appropriate. As a matter of fact, I would say to anybody who's listening to this – It's a like, deleted scene. By the time you hear this, Halloween's over. But but next Halloween, for your costume, dress as somebody sexy and daring. Like, Zorro is a great costume to have. Oh, really? Yeah, Zorro. Yes. Because you wear a simple mask. It's not going to make you hot. Yeah. It, it won't make you hot temperature-wise. But it will make you hot, hot sexually. To the lady. Exactly. Mm, yeah. Because when Halloween comes, it's an excuse for all the girls who want to slut it up most of the year who don't. This is their chance. Yeah. Matter of fact, Halloween, girls can't slut it up enough. No. Any Halloween profession, is whore night. I'm yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Any profession, just half naked. Right. Sexy doctor. <laughs> yes. That's a sexy good plumber. Point. Just any profession and yes. just show your boobs. I mean, seriously, like like the, the, the girl behind the counter at Fuddruckers was really flirting with me hard. And I almost invited her here. And I just like. Is this uh, the Fuddruckers down the road? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Man, I, I resisted well, the since temptation. You, since you stole Cyrus' girlfriend, maybe we should take the boy to Fuddruckers for a burger and, uh, <laughs> and some No, love. no, because I'm going to go see that chick later. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Come on. No, Lando. Don't, don't Come cock on. block me on that one. Leon Calrissian's got places to be. <laughs> exactly. But uh, They arrived right before you did. But just thanks, you guys, for sticking with us. And we're really sorry about the last broadcast because, man, we're, we're more upset about it than you could ever be. We're going to have fragmented, uh, segmented little uh, recordings throughout the evening. And I imagine the last one is going to be pretty damn funny. It's going to sound like the last five minutes of a Leog with uh, Bo going on in Cthulhu speak and, and yes. Leon laughing and me probably not saying That's anything. That's the thing. This was one where Bo didn't get drunk. In the middle of it and take over the show. He was on on his best behavior. Yeah. Ugh. Hey, okay. Okay, when we come back, we're going to get Allison back. Yeah, yes. Here's the thing. I want to put a a, a plea out, and I'm going to have the uh, the Spillians, the Spildos. I I like Spildos. I I do, too. Uh, (laughs) I I want them to respond in the talkbacks to to bring Allison back to a Leog proper as a proper guest, which we've mentioned before. Uh, And I don't think that'll be terribly difficult. But, uh, yes, just show her the love, folks. Yeah, she's a total attention whore, so just bombard her with requests. (laughs) Whore, attention whore. (laughs) Emphasis on the whore. (laughs) Emphasis on the whore. (laughs) I I put attention at the front just out of respect. (laughs) Yeah. It's it's pretty empty, but, yeah. Note for future Halloween costumers, dress as Robert Smith. You'll be irresistible. Isn't he here? <laughs> no, that, I, I, I swear. Actually, he, was, he was the guy who fucked up my broadcast. <gasps> That's right. Oh, no. The Sandman fucked yeah. up your broadcast? Yeah, he, Sandman he was, fucked he was up the, the broadcast. Oh, damn. Way to go, I Morpheus. I know. You, uh, you were just about to go home with him, weren't you? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. And with that. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back in a bit. Uh, stay tuned. Cyrus here. I am recording this well after the fact as I'm editing these editing these pieces together uh, as we realized, I think a little too late, that uh, the primary mic cord had become slightly detached. I don't know if someone had detached it when they were sitting down in the room, but uh, these are during the Jason recordings. Uh, I don't know here. I haven't even listened to them all yet, so I'm not sure how many uh, are going to be suffering from this. But uh, there's going to be a few here where if you want to hear Jason, you're going to have to turn it up. I really apologize for this. I just want to give you as much as was actually recorded. Plus, one of these segments, at least, is the one with the guy from Children from the Corn. So uh, I apologize once again. Wow, Leog having audio problems. Who knew? This is what happens when we're all completely wasted and try and record something without one single person sitting in uh, trying to captain the ship, I guess. 
But anyway, uh, enjoy as best you can, and then after a little while, it goes back to normal. All right, here we go. Uh, We're recording Jason. right now. We're recording that co-host 3000 here with us. Co-host 3000, drunk, drunk as ever. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but how can robot get drunk exactly? It happens. It happens. Yeah, be careful because I'll, I'll suck out the oxygen, kill everyone. Have you told everyone what your costume was? No. no. You want to tell? Uh, it, it, it. They already said it, it's Hal. Yeah. It's Hal. I put I put I put the red bulb That's in my the, the yeah. Red eye. In them, okay. Exactly. Hey, we we got a special guest here to uh, Courtney Courtney Gaines. Well, what's happening? I, I thought I recognized you. That's yeah, that's right. I took yeah. yeah. Courtney, yeah, he's a he's a big fan of mine apparently. Is but, that right? Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, but, uh, big 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 like, time, big time. Yeah. <laughs> Aside from your adoring uh, uh, legions on uh, Spill.com. The legions of the children of the damned, yes. The children of the damned. All of them, <laughs> all two of them. Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> Courtney is here with us. Courtney uh, is actually uh, in the area. I wouldn't say in town, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. He's in the area uh, doing, uh, uh, shooting a film. Uh, Courtney has been in uh, quite a few things. Sweet Home Alabama, uh, Children of the Corn. Yes. Malachi, and uh, Can't Buy Me Love. And yes. A whole list of other things. And, uh, and now, now me, I'm representing out in Kyle in uh, Johnson City, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I'm holding it down out there now. Yeah. You know? I know one crazy guy in Kyle, that guy. Yeah, well, we've got global listeners, so for those of you that don't know what, uh, where Kyle is, <laughs> Yeah, Johnson City is. Google it. Google, it. Yeah, Google, Google it. map it. Yeah, if you, you ever come to Austin, you'll still never know where those two places are, <laughs> exactly. most likely. Exactly. It's like children of the corn without any corn. Exactly. Correct. That's that's pretty true. Uh, so, yeah, uh, tell us what, uh, what brings you here to uh, Texas, Uh Doing this movie called The Ascent. It's kind of an action thriller that's a... Uh, I guess the most interesting part is it actually supposed to take place inside of the, on, on a mountain called Devil's Peak, but it, as you know, out here there really are no mountains. Hell no, there's yeah. not. If you consider that anthill over there, a mountain. <laughs> right. Hey. So, so we're shooting in uh, various locations that cheat as a mountain. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I, oh, I heard they shot some second unit stuff up in Alaska and things like that. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, so, you know, movie magic, baby. Those we'll second see unit guys, they get all the fun. That's right. Polar bears. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, apparently it was Alaska before the snow hit. That was the whole point. <laughs> okay. Which is a very small window, apparently. Right. right. About 35 minutes. Before. Yeah, exactly. Courtney, are you having fun? Are you getting your drunk on? Oh, that I don't do. I'm not going to lie. I don't get my drunk on. I'm, I'm the non-alcoholic who brought his own and non-alcoholic beers. So oh, are you I'll serious? Say, yes. <laughs> hey. Driving his whole home. That's, That's right. right. That's I'm right. I'm the designated driver. Yeah. I'm driving a big bus. That's right. Actually, it's, a, it's the, the short bus. The short yellow bus. That's what, that's what we're going on. Perfect. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. I, I, I could see that for you guys. The exactly. short bus. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> tell, us, tell us about the flick. Uh, uh, what's what's the, 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 the premise? The premise, yeah. Uh, so us bad guys are going on this this you know hike, but uh, with this woman who is this you know super avid hiker takes this Devil's Peak, which is a very dangerous thing. And what we know is she knows where this gold is, the Devil's Strong Box thing. So we you know force her hand to to take us to it, and we've already killed her. Previously, a year before, we had killed her boyfriend because we thought he knew where it was and he wouldn't cough it up. So she kind of, the twist is she kind of figured that all out and basically she gets us up on the mountain and starts offing us. Ravenga! Yeah. Okay. There you go. Chick revenge movie, basically. Hell you know? yeah. Picture sure the Sierra Madre meets Kill Bill or something. Yeah, something okay. like that. I'm what, down. Tell us about your character. Um, my character's name is Andrew. He's sort of the... The middleman who kind of put the whole deal together with you know the guy the guys that are helping me get this done, and uh, my big thing is uh, she ends up she ends up kind of getting me off this cliff where we're both hanging off this cliff, but she's an expert and just waits for me to not be able to hang anymore. <laughs> so that's how I how that's I mean cool. how I mean yeah it's an interesting moment. It's gonna be interesting to see to play it where. You know, you, this moment where you realize you're not going to make it, you know? Yeah. You have to do, like, a, like a lot of rock climbing or anything like that? Well, supposedly, but so far, it has, it's has it been more like hiking than rock climbing. It hasn't been too treacherous <laughs> yet. That's what so. CG is for. It's Come for on. <laughs> so far, so far. Are so was, do any exciting stuff? I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, got a couple more weeks. We'll see what they try to, try to get me to do. We'll Can see. I ask a real important question here? Sure. Is there any nudity in this film? 
That is that is a good and important question. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, none that I know of. I think it's actually going to. I think the deal is that they already sold this thing to Lifetime. So, oh, yeah. Well, so Lifetime, you know, it's got to be pretty yeah. clean cut, yeah. you know. Well, already having distribution is you know, kind of important. Well, uh, if you're if you're is. fortunate enough to do that, that's a good thing, you know, because obviously making an independent film, you don't always have that have that opportunity. So, yeah. hey, well. so okay. Question: What is of your roles? What is your favorite film that you've been in? What is, what is your favorite role out of all of them? Because you've got a uh, you've got a long career. You've been doing this for what thirty years? <laughs> and not quite that long <laughs> yet, but tw- 20, 20 plus, I like <laughs> to say yeah. twenty plus. The guy's only thirty years old. Exactly. Crying out loud, exactly. leave him alone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, lately I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up shamelessly plugging a project that uh, should be coming out on uh, DVD soon and Netflix Do it. and all that called Benny Bliss and the Disciples of Greatness. It's a rock and roll road comedy with an anti-technology message. I play Benny Bliss, who looks like something between uh, Evil Knievel and uh, uh, Elvis. And uh, via electric shock treatment, he gets a message from God that God's got the blues because we've become so addicted to technology and screens, we're no longer paying attention to anything going on that he created. (laughs) So uh, the the character commandeers his band and starts accosting people in front of circuit cities and things like that. And and that, of course, catches media buzz. And the whole thing culminates in this... uh, concert live concert where i actually front the band for real sing live wrote four are you, songs are you a singer yeah you yeah, singing? I'm a singer songwriter but uh, this is cool because i'm just completely fronting a really good band these guys awesome. are all the real deal what, what, what kind of music you got it's uh it's it's definitely like rock and blues kind of okay. stuff oh. and um uh but i have to say you know i, I mean though i produced it and i got to start in which i don't normally get to carry a movie <laughs> I had a blast. That's that's, I have to say that is probably the most fun I've had in a long time, making a movie and doing a character. I, so. I, hate, I hate to interrupt for a second here, Jason. You know, Jason does a lot of movie reviews. and Jason, I was wondering if you mind reviewing, and I need you to actually watch the whole thing, this for me. I dream of genie. Uh, it's a complete I Dream of Genie set, and you know, I, I think it's only like 166 episodes. I love I Dream of Genie. Wow. Damn. Well, you need to find next week. Or you're off the site. I know, that ain't going to happen. I love I Dream of Genie, but gee. I was always pissed off that that cartoon version of the girl never got naked. I don't know why. I'm like, I don't believe what they send me. You might have to parse that out to a couple of people. but I'll watch it. I'll watch it, but for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. Another question for Courtney. Courtney, this is the Halloween broadcast for us. Oh, here we go. Favorite scary flick. Uh, you know, it's probably sounds not, you know, too deep or cliche, but when I was a kid, there's no wrong answers. Yeah. I'm just saying when I was a kid, I, I, I was able to get into, you know, when I was like 10 years old in the theaters, I saw the exorcist and man, oh, right that on. bent my brain. You know what I mean? I mean, there was nothing, you know, the special effects at that time, there'd never been anything like mm-hmm. that. And I was that young watching it in a, in a movie theater and it, yeah. it's, you know, still, yeah. It still has impact. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's, yeah. it's. it's it's yeah. it's yeah they tapped into something on that flick because it's got yeah, something there. Yeah. The pissing on the carpet scene really affected me. That just creeped me out. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what it is about a kid pissing in front of a bunch of people, but <laughs> yeesh. Idea, <laughs> no. I, 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 Greg stumbles in. Greg, shut up. Yes, Greg. I know. I know. Greg's usually our bass player. He's, right. He's our band director. <laughs> yeah, the bass play. The bass shut it off the last time. It, the bass is what what is what it caused it to crash. Right. Too, too much coolness. Yeah, well, you know. You can leave now. You know, I got that shit anyway. Yeah. All right, that, that's good. That's enough. Thank you. Thanks, Bootsy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's a compliment. Yeah. yeah. That, that is true. That's a compliment. True that. That's right. P-funk. So so The Exorcist, yeah. That so is. I have to say, yeah, that's the one that got to me the worst. Okay, so yeah. aside from scary movies, what is your favorite film? Ooh, my yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. It's all no, changes, no. It's you know? all good. You know, a couple of the movies I liked. You know, Das Boot. You know, remember Das Boot back in the day? The German U boat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't know that's actually was a because I saw it in England when I was doing Memphis Belle of all things, which is like that was kind of our goal. That's right. I love Memphis yeah. Belle. Yeah, yeah. But you know, that was actually a. Das Boot was actually a mini series before it was actually a film. Right. In England, they showed it as a yeah. mini series. Right. Very cool. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. But it was you know a great film as well. And, and another, I mean, my choices are I like you know Pink Floyd, The Wall. I think is a great movie. I Woo! love that movie. Man. Don't tell me about that. It's gonna bring, bring some. It's gonna yes. bring some bad flashbacks. Yes, yes. I was on a lot of yes. drugs and, and no friends. Yes. Well, <laughs> any movie where he shaves his nipple off. Oh, oh. My yes, God. yes. I think that's a great movie, though. So that's one of your favorites. Okay, Dust, yeah. Dust Boot, The Wall. 
Um, that's pretty good. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Those are, those are good. Yeah. Those, those, those are good. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, Bill, Billy Bliss is what it's called? B- Benny Bliss. Benny Bliss. Benny Bliss. Right, yeah. Benny Bliss and, and the Disciples of Greatness. The disciples of greatness. Long time. Catch you, them both. Yeah. You that's can, right. If you like go on my MySpace, you know, Courtney Gaines, you can like at my top friends. You can jump on there and check some stuff out. Or, when do we get to oh, cool. see Benny Bliss? It, uh, it should be coming out in November, so it should be coming out soon, at least oh, on Netflix okay. for sure. Oh, right on. Okay. And it uh, should be coming out on DVD soon. Okay. Right yeah. And yeah. you are uh, filming here in Texas for another two weeks? A couple so? weeks, yeah. Okay. And I just want to say, you know, I've been having a good time in that uh, the people of Austin are some of the nicest people I've ever met. Everybody's just really cool, really genuine. Always shakes your hand, looks you right in the eye, introduces himself. Yeah. It's been really easy to get along with people here. I've had a really good time. Hey, well, just don't ever run into Roger. That guy's a real prick. That guy owes me money, yeah. You know, know who Roger is? He's here. He's hanging out back there right now. He's, talk, he's, talking, he's talking to that chick who's actually a dude, but I ain't telling him shit. <laughs> Because that guy, he owes me five bucks, and I told him, "Look, man, five whole bucks. Yeah, wow. that's five a lot. Times are tough." Greg, yeah. <laughs> can you turn him off? Now? Hey, don't touch me there. That's not my off button, dude. That's something else. You gotta be careful. Thank you very much. Thank uh, Courtney. Right on, right. right on, right on. Thank you. We'll be back in a little bit, uh, and uh, talk to you guys soon. Okay. Oh, wow. This is me, uh, Cyrus, Jason, Corey, and Whammo! Yes. <laughs> That's all after yes. that introduction I gave. Yes. 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 Whammo yes. is a friend of the site that may someday deign to come in to sit for a Leog, as we've asked him before. He said, he, fuck extremely that. Extremely ordinary gentleman. Gotcha. I'm not threatening you with my big plastic knife. See you nice. may play with it. Very nice. <laughs> Cyrus just offered Whammo to play with his. Hey man, gun. look, goddamn you! We had a party right now. We record every other day. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Corey is pissed that we dragged him back. Yeah, here. Is. yeah I'm partying. I've been in front of a mic all day. We threw. Well, that's your fault. I've been putting up decorations all day. Uh, I've been jonesing to get in front of a mic. What, what is, looks great. What are we doing way? here? Thank you. Well, we're doing here because we screwed up in the last podcast. We're trying to give something back to the fans to put back up. Crashed and burned. Yeah, we crashed and burned the last Leon. Feel really bad about it. <laughs> We're just going a couple minutes at a time, throwing in here. I wanted to sh- throw a real quick shout out to Wham I who's got the band, the Silent Street Spankers, which I've posted before on the site, and you guys should totally check that shit out. Thank you. That is awesome. What's your favorite horror movie? Ooh, that's tough. I think, um... <laughs> come back, to, come back to me. All right, all right. <laughs> Damn, it's so it's scary. So, he forgot. It's so, it's oh, so hard. There's so many great ones to choose from. Oh yeah. Well, well, since we since we lost it, Corey, what was yours? Man, I don't even fucking remember. Uh, what, yeah, what, I don't what, either. We were all shit, drunk, I'm, and it and I'm it, fucked it's up right been, now. It's, it's all been deleted. You know what? Everything is scary. I'm looking at you right now. Tom, I'm scared. This is what? scary. You know, what scariest move I've ever seen is called Jason looking at me in the room right now. <laughs> he, looks, he, looks like, he looks like the mad scientist in the beginning of Robot Chicken. I know. Everybody keeps saying, "Oh, Robot Chicken." I'm <laughs> no, like, "What the fuck? Are what you is your costume about? then?" It's, I'm a mad scientist. Jesus, how Just, hard oh, is a, it? Oh, a generic mad scientist. See, we yeah. want our we want our mad scientists to be involved with something. You know, we want to be coming from a movie or some shit. What's cooking in your laboratory? What are you saying? Uh, advanced gynecological experimentation. There you go. There you go. Dead ringers. Dead ringers, yeah. Exactly. I'm Jeremy Irons. You look like my 12th grade uh, science teacher. <laughs> That's what I thought you were. Did he touch you too? But yeah, he did. <laughs> but it was so nice. <laughs> But this was like three days ago. He looks like Indiana Jones on a cold day. No kidding. Now that Corey lost the Rorschach. Okay, man. What the fuck we get? What are we doing here? Shit. What do you want? I want to get out of here. What are you doing? No. This is what we're doing. I have to tell my favorite horror movie is. Yeah, damn. The other day oh. you said the last man on earth, but uh, that, no, that co-host said that. Co-host 